Hey guys, so we are about to take our 1952 Chevy Lula for her first drive in over 22 years. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with our channel, we bought Lula at a junk auction about nine months ago. And yeah. in between traveling to help our viewers with their cars, we've been working on Lula at home. And we are proud to say that she is licensed and insured. You know, should we crash into the neighbor's house? Um, so we're ready to take her for a first drive. Yeah. Excited? Yeah, this is a huge moment. Huge, huge moment. Had months in the making. We've had so little time to dedicate to this car. It's been an hour here, three hours there, and we're finally at the point. The brake system's completely done. I fixed the clutch linkage. It's just so many things that I've done to this car and she's done to this car. Yeah. It's time to go. Yeah, so before we get in the car and go, you may notice something a little bit different about Lula if you've been following our channel. And that is, we decided not to paint the outside of Lula, but rather just to put a protectant on her to help protect her from rust and to give her a little bit of shine. Now, the reason we decided that is because, Richard? Well, ultimately, we are not a risk restoration channel. There's lots of channels out there that do that. We rescue cars so that they're saved from scrap or the crusher and they go on to better lives. So that set the tone for mm -hmm. what we did with this car. Agreed, yes. So we have both agreed on that and I feel good about that. Because the time that it could have taken us to sand Lua and put new paint on her, we could probably help some of our viewers rescue one or no two doubt. of their cars. No and doubt. that is what we really are about, is helping others rescue cars that are, let's face it, not gonna be around much longer, right? So that said, uh, we are going to show you about 19 minutes and 30 seconds of footage of what was done to, um, to get Lula in the shape she's in. Let me move over so you can see her. Oh, you're giving it away. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that? No. No. Forget you saw that. <laughs> yeah, there's a big reveal coming later in the video. Uh, uh, but honestly, I think you'll want to you'll wanna stick around to see how we got the finish to look like it is and what it looks like. But right now, we got to drive. Hey guys, I know the lighting isn't that fantastic in here, but I wanted to try to get a quick um, walk around of what she looked like before we started um, to sand her. No, unfortunately, um, I forgot to film this side before I started sanding. So, of course, this you might be able to tell, like, anywhere where you see a lot of black, we've kind of started. All right. And the front. Okay, there you go. So I've been working on that area. So I'm going to do up above here and then come back and let you see what that looks like once I get done. Hey guys, okay, so I'm going to show you what um, I've done. I think honestly, I I would say I haven't been out here longer than 15 minutes working on this since I started. And I'd also like to tell you that Richard said he was going to come out and help me, but I haven't seen him for like 30 minutes. So I'm not really sure what that means. So let me, let me show you what, um, what I've accomplished with Lula. Okay, there you go. So like I said, I could go back and look at what time I started the video before. But I really feel like I've been on this back area for about 15 minutes. Um, sorry about the glare from the light on the ceiling. Um, but yeah, you can really see that Lula is starting to peek through. And I love it. I love it. 
So keep going. So what I was not expecting to find when I started to sand this was kind of that there is actually let me get where I need to be. Paint still left under the rust. Look who showed up for my sanding party. Hey, hon. I never miss a good sand. <laughs> so Richard um, has been working on underneath the um, the back. Uh, I guess what do you call it? Trunk in Trunk. one. Yeah. There you go. And and, look at how good that looks. Yeah. So we've gotten. The entire trunk and while he was working on that part I did finish up this side and back over here very smooth and I think it's like I said before I think it's art and it's beautiful and, and I like it Okay, back out in the garage today, and we're going to be doing some more sanding on Lula, and hopefully we will be able to get this finished up this weekend. Okay, so last time I was out here, I left off at this back bumper right around here. Yeah, I can tell because it's smooth. So, let's get started on this side. There's a lot more black paint already showing on this side, so I'm super excited about that. But, uh, you know, definitely want to get a before and after because when you can compare the two, it makes you feel more triumphant on your hard work. So, there we go. All right, guys, I'm going to get to work. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it is the next day after three and a half hours of sanding by hand yesterday to get the primer off. I made... A lot of progress. Do you guys see that? Ah, I'm so proud of myself. My arms are very sore, but I am so happy with that. Um, kind of remember if you remember, well, it looked almost like that, right? That primer all over it. So Richard um, is actually going to come out and help today. He was working on some mechanics on Lula yesterday, so he didn't get a chance to help sand, but he's going to help sand this morning. And hopefully, fingers crossed, between the two of us, we can get all of this knocked off. Uh, so, Richard said that they really loaded that primer on in the light. And I told him, I said, I'm over here on my side, and I understand your pain. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it, hon? Yeah, it's a good arm workout. Yeah, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah. I hope. Oh, for sure. It looks so much better already. Yeah. It yeah. looked like this all over, and it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Okay, I'm going to start on the hood. I'm oh, very really? interested to see what it's going to look like. Mostly dust. No. Richard's taking the, uh, the Chevy emblem off to make it easier to sand. He said they were rusty. I was shocked. <laughs> Small size. Is it? We put some Creole in there, so you might see some drips. Sure. I gotta get the wrench. Well, he's getting the wrench he needs. What do you think? I mean, it's wet. Yeah. But can you see the black? And you see, I got all of the um, primer off. See that side? See my side? Oh yeah. We're working hard. Look at that. Maybe we'll look at the next one. All right, let's see. Oh, not what I expected. No, what is that underneath? It's just the... Oh, it's black in there. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah, it's black Okay, good. I'm excited again. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. It's, it's, I don't know, dirt, grease, crime. I don't know if you can tell but it yeah it's really ooh, gross so hun you said that you 
we're surprised how much more black paint is on the hood. Yeah, I'm very surprised. If you look at right here, it's complete rust. Yeah. Complete rust. Mm -hmm. But when you start to sand the rust, the black is right underneath. Yeah. See that? It's right underneath yeah. it. Very surprising. I didn't expect that. This is going to look pretty interesting when I'm finished. Okay, so we went inside, had some lunch, and we are back out. I think that we are going to get this done today, so I'm really excited. Now, I just want to tell you, for, you, for those of you at home that are thinking about doing this, you will need a lot of ibuprofen. Okay, so if you're thinking about doing this at home, and you're probably, let's say, over the age of 40, just make sure that you have ibuprofen ahead of time before you start this. Oh, guys. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh wow. It's it's starting to look like a Stephen King novel. A what? A Stephen well I shouldn't say novel. It's starting to look like a Stephen King movie. <laughs> Woo! Red rum. Red rum. <laughs> yeah, so that I just love that look. Looks a lot better than it did. All right, so we're gonna start Lula, trying to move her outside. You know, okay, so you know what, I was talking a while ago and I lost my train of thought, but what I was going to say was, I hope that the smoke from her exhaust doesn't make the um, fire alarm go off. Remember last yeah. time it went off? Yeah. Aw, oh, Lula, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Aw, oh, I'm so, so proud of you. Clutch is working now, too. Wonderful. The brakes are working. That's obvious. Yep, brakes work. How was the steering? Did Good. you steer oh, enough yeah. to know? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get washing. Um, yeah. I mean, guys, come on. You have to love this picture, right? Even if you're a Ford person. Come on now, we have three cars here that we have rescued. So, I feel really good about that. I'm going to wash all the dirt and dust and residue from rust off of it. Oh wow, babe. Do you see it coming down the window? That's why I'm doing it.
How does he never work this hard when we're cleaning the house together? Hmm. I'm getting soaked. <laughs> he said he's getting soaked. But not from rain. It hasn't started raining yet. No, <laughs> no that's yet to come. <laughs> all the other Chevys are so jealous right now. But that's okay. They all get their turn. Yeah, exactly. This one hasn't gotten any turns yet. I, well, Actually, you know what? I did rebuild the carburetor. Well, I did clean the the front areas. It's got a complete tune up, too. Mm hmm. I think this is good now. I don't see any more residue up there. Well, the water, I think the water is running clear now. Yeah. Well, that's a good indication. Exactly. Hold on, I'm going to walk around to the front. Oops, I get that. Yeah, it's running clear. Oh, wait. Do you see right there? Yeah, you're getting it. You saw it. Oh, yeah. That would have been bad. Oh, we would have saw that before we put this yeah, stuff on. Yeah, we're still going to go over it with prep salt. Right. You did a great job, hon. Almost done. Yeah, this door is not the original door. I know. I t that's what I told him. Yeah. It'd be nice if I'd known that. Could have saved my arm an hour. You gonna put it back in the garage? Yep. Okay. Look how great the back looks. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Love it. Lunch doesn't do it. Let's try Except for that gray door. She looks amazing. Hold off. Five more minutes, Rain. <laughs> Five more minutes. Now you told me before, what is that one sound we heard? We heard it when you pulled her in. That the throw out bearing. When you push the clutch in, uh -huh. it's got a bearing on the clutch fork. Oh. And the throw out bearing squeaking. Okay. Yeah, eventually it'll probably have to be changed, but it's only in use when you push in the clutch in. So. Well, I will tell you that the brake light on the passenger side works. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank heaven for little things. Right. Okay, so we're gonna wipe it down. Oh, you still see it? That's all right. We're gonna Crazy. hit it. We're gonna dry it, and then we're gonna hit it with Prepsol. Now I'll get all the remainder of this stuff off. All right, so I've got to go help. So I don't know if you can tell, but literally like two minutes after we got Lula in the garage, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it started to rain. All right, we're using uh, some Prepsol as a last step before we start the coating. This will get off, of course, any of the last bits of rust dust, but also any kind of grease or any contaminants. So I'm gonna go over the whole car with this stuff and let it dry up. And once it does, I'm ready to apply. I wanted to do this tonight because even letting this sit overnight, it's gonna rust up a bit. And I don't want that to happen. And wow, this stuff smells like varnish and it looks like varnish, interestingly enough. Well, I have never done this before, so I have no clue if I'm doing it right. But we're going to try it and I'm going to start with the top, 
since it's the easiest to hide mistakes up there. So one tip I've discovered already is a little goes a long way. You're really just trying to get it on there, not trying to go crazy with the coverage. Okay, so you're starting on the hood. I am starting on the hood. This is big time now. So far, the, the best trick seems to be just going long strokes. Same direction? Yeah. Yep. Now, how much did you say you paid for this? Fifteen. Fifteen. Did you yeah. tell me that a month ago it was twelve or something like well, that? Well, when we, when we did the interior video and I mentioned that we were going to do this, it was twelve dollars. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was probably five or six weeks ago. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Yep, so anybody that's procrastinating, you'll save money if you do it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, there's your before and after. Now, it's not dry, of course, but you can see that it's going to be different. So he just has this one side left, and it looks so good. Now... Probably half of you will agree with this, half of you won't, but we really like it super shiny like this. Um, again, half of you will hate it, half of you will like it. Okay, so he is just finishing up the little tiny pieces of trim with a smaller brush. And um, now then we're going to go in and let it dry and we'll come back out and see what we got. So it's been about... 30, 40 minutes. It's still super, super glossy. I don't think it's gonna dry that glossy. But it looks pretty wild, it really does. Few tips, don't use a lot. I put way too much on at first, way too much. I was treating it almost like house paint. You don't need a lot. Um, and it started to run, but some people have said, you know, when you use products like this, after it sits for a few minutes, you can't catch the run. Well, you can with this stuff. I mean, I went back four, four or five minutes later and caught some runs. Um, where I use less, it's a little less shiny. So it'll be interesting to see how that actually turns out when it's, when it's fully, fully dried. But... It looks pretty cool so far. I think it, the finish is gonna end up more like that, right here, than it is like this. All right, this is just crazy, crazy glossy. I just don't, I, I don't think it's gonna dry that way. I think Christina's theory about this door not being an original door is correct. Um, there was no black under the primer it was gray so it does look like an oddball with the door like that but it is what it is a couple hours later still very 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 glossy on the hood and the driver's side fender a little less so on the passenger fender so it looks to me like the gloss is in direct relation to how much you put on. I put way too much on the hood and the front fender. Um, but it, it's got a nice, a nice finish to it so far. Um, the rear is not super glossy, but of course there's far less black and that might be why. It, it may very well be that it just rust, and that's why it doesn't look as good, because if you look here, it's pretty glossy, because there's a lot of black there. So I'll let it dry overnight now, and uh, we'll see how it looks tomorrow. It's exciting. I hope he doesn't crash into the neighbor's house. Okay, let's go. Oh, gosh. Here we go. I know. 
this driveway is scary. It is. So when I said that we needed to make sure she was licensed and insured in case we ran into the neighbor's house. It's because of this driveway. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't joking. Brakes are good. They're working. Yeah, they are. You're jerking me around a lot, so that's good. Well, I gotta test it. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to come to a full stop to put it in first. I had it in reverse coming down the driveway in case things get out of hand. Really? Yeah. So you just let her roll down on her own? No, I just would have thrown it in reverse and it would have stalled. Fully dry this is what it looks like there's not bright sunlight out now so this is a pretty good view of what it will look like to recap that's what we used Home Depot did not have it but Lowe's does 15 bucks and here's what it looks like yeah I think it and this is two weeks later by the way yeah it's two weeks later um, it's not nearly as glossy as it was it took two days for it to lose the gloss it's not nearly like it was, but it's, look at the, the preservation of the finish. Yeah. It's awesome. It's I think just it looks, awesome. compared to what Lula looked like with all of that um, primer, Yeah. this is fantastic. Yep. And it's, um, 
This car is going to be sitting outside, so we had to do something with it to prevent it from rusting. We still have a lot more work to do to her. Yeah, we do. I mean, the glass and the exhaust, as you guys heard, is super loud but cool. <laughs> the windows. Oh, yeah. and I guess when we opened the trunk, <laughs> that came out. This. <laughs> well, I think it was bad, so it's okay. No, it was bad. <laughs> um, it was bad. But, yeah, no, if you haven't, oh, and we need to do something about this area down here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. So, we've also got different skies, kind of wheels and tires on this thing. Um, you know, if you have a preference, which looks better, or if they both look terrible, I'm not going to be offended. You uh -huh. can tell us. These are just spares that we threw on it so we could drive it. These are those uh, those uh, chrome, chrome wheels that have the baby moon caps. Mm -hmm. On What's this up? side. Oh, I, you know, I didn't notice that you'd done that. It's funny. Yeah. And this side is the classic slots. I think I like this side. Oh, I love these slots. You just can't beat them for an older car. But it is a four-door, so they look a little weird on a four-door. Yeah. But it does have a split manifold, dual exhaust. Really? You mean it did? Yeah. <laughs> Do you still consider it does? Because it's all rusted and falling apart. It's two pipes. <laughs> Yeah, those are the only two parts that remain. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, this thing, I'm so happy with it. We're both happy. Yeah. You know, it's so much better than it was. And you, you peer into the inside, and it looks so neat inside with the red and the white that Christina did. It's, it's just great. Yeah. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, we redid um, Lula's interior, interior uh, for $407. Uh, we spent $15 on the outside. We yep. have to. We have tires and uh, a few other things. Rebuild the carb. Mm -hmm. Put the fix the ignition switch because that's why it's. Uh, I have to mess around over there to start if the ignition switch isn't working. Yeah. But I mean, we're almost there. I'm yeah. I'm gonna check tonight if it's charging because I put a new alternator in it. It's almost there. Yeah. But I will say, by the time we are finished, what do you think we spent? Maybe twenty five hundred dollars total. That oh, includes the cost that. of Lula. Less. No. no yeah. So. Yeah. I'm gonna, well, yeah. I don't know, we'd have to, four, I don't, I think the tires are what's gotten me, like. The tires would be experience. the biggest expense, but I did the whole brakes, everything for under $200. Yeah. So, if you find a car, and you think you can rescue the car with a little elbow grease, look, you can get the car going, and it can look pretty daggone good. That doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Yep. So, hopefully everyone out there will go out and rescue a car right now. Yep. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, one more thing. I guess the only thing left to say is thank you guys so much yes, thank you. for supporting and watching the channel. Um, maybe by the time this comes out, we might be at 30,000 subscribers, which <laughs> is amazing. So thank you, all of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, if you need help with your vehicle, send us an email and let us know. And if we can make it your way, we'll try to do so. Uh, in the meantime, have a wonderful Father's Day, and we'll be chatting with you in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, be sure to check us out on Facebook. What the rest on Facebook? We're we'll looking for you. That's good. We just... Forget you saw that.